Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card I'm going to share with you is, uh, I believe people are calling it the stained glass technique. I've done it before um, using glimmer paper, but today we are going to use uh, aluminum foil. So that does give it a little bit of a different look. And this is a case from my friend Cindy Fodor, and I think... The idea was shared at one of our meetings uh, with Sandra Jumper. So thank you guys for sharing this inspiration. So let's get started so I can show you guys how to create that gorgeous hummingbird. So first we're gonna use the Humming Along stamp set and the dies that go with it. Now this is retired. Um, <clears throat> I made this back in May and I'm just now getting ready, getting around to create some videos for you guys. I took a week off last week after we had a 12 hour retreat and then I had some classes and just couldn't fit it all in. So I am back and ready to share some information with you. So Humming Along has retired, and uh, but you can use anything. So any type of bold line detailed stamp is gonna work awesome with this technique. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a piece of window sheet that we have in the catalog, and I'm gonna ink that up. You definitely want to use the stays on ink with this. And uh, the stays on is made to stamp on these crazy surfaces that are like porous, not porous. And so the window sheet and stays on, <laughs> oh my God, where is it? Um, work so well together. So the hardest part of your whole day is going to be figuring out where your window sheet is so that you can see to stamp on it. <clears throat> now, when you lay this down, because that window sheet is so... I'm trying to still trying to see it. All right, there we go. That window sheet is very slippery. And so you want to be careful when you first lay this down, when you go to put your stamp on, it kind of wants to slide on you. So just be real careful that you just get that straight up and straight down. Okay, so there's our gorgeous hummingbird. Thank you, card, for jumping in there. While I have the ink out, let's go ahead and stamp my sentiment a while. You do want to give a couple seconds to dry. Doesn't take real long, but just don't rush it because you need to flip it over. And so I want to do my stamping while we let that dry. So I'm just gonna stamp my sentiment on here and then we're good with the stays on. So I will pull in some Call Me Clover. And we're just going to stamp the leaf all over the background of my card. So, got some Call Me Call Me a Clover cardstock. So, a lot of alliteration there, and uh, just random with that leaf, no rhyme or reason. I kind of just stuck around to the edge because the hummingbird and all his parts are going to go in the center, so you don't really have to stamp that. And I do twist it and turn it so that it doesn't really look monotonous, I guess. Now, I do want to make sure that I have that fold nice and crisp. So when I go to stamp across it, it's going to give me a good image. And let's get another one in. Okay, so that's it for the stamping. Put those guys away. And then we'll go ahead and do some layering with some Whisper White. Then I have another piece of, oh, look at that, daggone. Sorry, I got another one, it's right here. I thought I was all prepared today, I had all my, all my items I need that I'm always forgetting, adhesive, scissors, dimensionals, and I run out of adhesive. All right, got a piece on here of Garden Green, no, Call Me Clover. And then we have our sentiment. Okay, so there's our card. Actually, I do have, I do have a piece here. That's for the inside, and I always do like to have 
a little fun on the inside too. I don't want it to just look like it's just so plain. So we'll just stamp a little leaf. That'll go on the inside of our card. And then what we'll do is take our Stampin' Blends and we're gonna flip, so here's our hummingbird, we're gonna flip him on the back side and we're gonna color with Stampin' Blends. Now I used Call Me Clover, Daffodil Delight, and Lovely Lipstick. So this is what it ends up looking like, okay? So we're gonna scooch you out of the way here you're for another day, Magic of Television. On the back side, I've got my blends colored in. So now I'm going to take a piece of adhesive sheet, and I'm sad to say that these are no longer available. These are, are um, just amazing. I'm sad to see them go, but we have no longer partnered with Sizzix, and so we do have to get rid of those. Um, I always hate to tell you where to get to go elsewhere, but you can find Sizzix adhesive sheets other places. So I do recommend having them because when you're doing die cuts with a lot of those intricate dies or something like this, it really does come in handy to have these amazing adhesive sheets. So we're going to just lay that on the back side. I've got adhesive on my fingers now. <clears throat> and take a piece of just regular old aluminum foil. Doesn't matter what kind, I know there's like heavy duty and regular. Just crumple it up. Doesn't have to be real tight because you need to uncrumple. There is a shiny side and there is a dull side, so I like to use the shiny side. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering, is this gonna be, yeah, oh yeah, totally big enough. It looked a little bit smaller than my window sheet, but that's okay. <clears throat> so now you're gonna peel the backing off of your adhesive sheet. Lay the shiny side of aluminum foil down and just press that onto your hummingbird. So this is all done on the back side. So now when you flip him over, you can see that it really looks like stained glass. Now, I do want to run this through the Big Shot to give me the, the cut. Now, you would hand cut it if you need to. Um, use a die if you've got one. I'm only, I'm trimming that edge off because there was a little bit of adhesive that didn't touch the aluminum, and I don't want that on my Big Shot plates because it's just going to make it kind of sticky. All right, so now let's get this guy cut. I don't normally do Big Shotting on camera, but I am today because of the way, because I am. All right, so all right, little hummingbird, you lay flat. I'm just gonna lay my die right on top. You stay still, okay? Hang on, you might go for a ride here. It sounds worse than it is. I, something about that aluminum foil just kind of makes it sound like it's breaking your machine. But there you go. There is that gorgeous hummingbird stained glass technique. Super, super simple. So now, um, just a couple dimensionals. And he's good to go. We've got ourselves a card, you guys. Um, now, so I was saying at the beginning that I have done this with glimmer paper. So in the same, same way, instead of aluminum foil, you would put a piece of our gorgeous glimmer paper on the back side, and that gives a, a whole different look, um, still just as easy. So there you go, kids. Stained glass technique. Thanks so much for joining me. Leave a comment, and I'm going to give this card away. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week for Movie Monday.